I am sitting two orders away from becoming a star seller on Etsy with no prior experience whatsoever. The crazy part of all, this is all from selling AI generated digital art proclaimed to be one of the most saturated and competitive things to sell. Today, I'm going to share the exact blueprint of how I found my listings and got profitable in less than six months. I promise that if you follow the steps that I reveal in this video, you'll be off to get a sale on your Etsy store in no time. Let's dive right in. First is to pick a niche that you want to sell on Etsy. Just to name a few, you could be selling digital products such as clip art, junk journal covers, and mug designs, and much more. There are also physical products that you can create such as print-on-demand t-shirts, wall art, and much more. Whichever you decide to go with, it is crucial that you stick with it for at least 50 to 100 listings going forward to give time for Etsy to recommend your product in that niche. Once you have selected the niche, you can utilize one of the Etsy research tools that I went over in my other video but truthfully I think the tools can only help you so much and what I believe is more important is to be able to create high quality listings that will convert and there's an old saying by Picasso that good artists borrow and great artists steal. I'm not saying to steal artwork and upload them but instead utilize them to your full potential. So say we decided to sell clip art. My favorite way of creating a listing is to create what's already selling well in the market. That's what got me the sales and that's what you're gonna be doing. The first thing you want to do is open up a browser window on incognito mode. Yes, you heard me right. You want to make sure that you open in a private mode so that all the search results on Etsy is fresh and is not based on what you recently searched for. I'll search for a general broad term such as digital clipboard. On the search results, skip all the listing promoted from ads. From here, open up about 5 to 10 listings that have the highest number of reviews on the shop. The first thing that I look at is the number of reviews on that listing. Now, here's a trick to picking the right listing to create. Etsy will show three different types of information on top of the listing price that will show how many people bought this in the last 24 hours, how many are in the baskets, and lastly, how many views it got in the 24 hours. Obviously, we want to choose something that shows how many people bought the listing since that shows the actual number of purchases rather than just views or abandoned carts. If you have more multiple listings that have purchases, either go with the one with the higher number or something that is more unique. In this case, we can see this hard clipboard, which has a lot of purchases, but it's hard to compete with this one because it's too simple for anyone to create and this listing is already doing too well. So after you have chosen the listing to create, screenshot a couple of those clipboards. Now for this demonstration, I specifically use the mid-journey software since I've been using this from the beginning. You want to type forward slash describe and drag and drop the screenshot of clip art. Mid Journey will come up with four variants of prompts to describe the image. But the reason we grabbed multiple screenshots earlier is so that we can describe a couple more images and test which one is the closest in the art style that we're looking for. Once you got those prompts for a couple of images, test them all out and see which one is the closest. Once you have found the right prompt, we need to get ideas for the prompts. In this example, we're trying to create safari clip arts. Next step is to head over to ChatGPT to get the ideas. The question I ask myself is how many clip bars should I make per listing? As many as you can possibly handle. My advice is try to beat the number of clip bars that you're trying to mimic but since this example has over 500 clip bars I think we can maybe go for 50 to start off with. Anything more than that will just take too much time to create. So what you can do is essentially create batches of 50 clip bar sets and later combine them to create a large quantity bar bundle such as this one. Back on ChatGPT, I would just type give me 50 different watercolor safari clipboard ideas. You can also ask to put them in a single sentence with commas so you can have them in one line. There's a neat trick on mid-journey which allows for batch generation if you have the batch prompt. After you have generated the clipboards, download them and start removing the background on these clipboards. I have several ways of removing backgrounds on the clipboards but the best way I found is to manually do it using Photoshop. Automation just leaves too many imperfections which doesn't look professional at all. Last step is to upload these images into a listing. I highly recommend checking this video out where I go over the entire process of creating an Etsy shop and a listing. Well I hope you learned a lot from this video and if you have any questions then leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Peace.